And that was it, watching the sunset on day 100. Now, you're probably wondering, Crave, where's your old world? Where's the underground base that got you all your subs? Well, I died. After blowing a hole down to bedrock in my last base, I decided to go ahead and try to break all these skulk streakers in my deep, dark, ancient city. And in doing that, I spawned the warden myself. For some reason, I was down there long enough to be out of fireworks as well. So I panicked, and this happened. Where even is he? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No! Oh, this ain't good, oh, this ain't good, oh, this ain't good, oh, this ain't good. Oh my gosh. No, please. Dude, I can't do anything. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Dude, I'm dead. So that was it. The end of series one. But with every ending, comes a new beginning. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that you guys are going absolutely crazy with support and comments and likes, and I really appreciate every single one of you that views these videos and enjoys them. It's the reason I put them out in the first place, and I did intend for this video to be a 100 subscriber special, and I think now we're at almost 400. So thank you a lot i hope all of you enjoy this and yeah hit the sub if you're new i didn't waste any time and jumped right into a new world with a random seed pretty much hoping for the best and honestly i wasn't too far from it i spawned in a nice spruce forest which is obviously my favorite if you've seen any of my videos and i pretty much spent the first day looking for a village and getting wood and basically the basic essentials once I got to the village, I noticed there was armor fresh off an armor stand and decided to take that and I got some early advancements. I found some sugarcane and decided to plant that around this nice pond in the village and continued to try to get the villagers to be Fletchers. I wanted to get into trading pretty quickly so the next day I decided to break one of the houses down and break some trees so that I could trade with the Fletchers. I killed a golem for iron, made a bucket, and started my potato arm a little early. Day two, I broke some more trees, traded with some fletchers and armors, and set up inside a village house. Day three, I cut down some more trees, planted wheat, killed some golems, pretty much the same stuff. I did the same thing over and over up until day five, where I actually got my first diamond pants and boots from the armor. And day six, I made another Fletcher, got a crossbow, some arrows, and some more iron from golems. Day seven, I continued trading and was able to get full diamond from cutting trees, and I just kept replanting crops, and yeah. I also started a mine on this day. Day eight, I continued to kill golems, traded some more, tried to tame a cat. Uh, didn't go the best for me. The next day I tamed a cat and named him Gret, but I didn't have any name tags obviously or even iron. I decided to smelt the iron I had from the mine and broke another house down and terraformed the area a little bit. Day 10 I finished the cow farm, uh, kept farming some golems for iron because I didn't really want to go mining it, and terraformed a little bit more for a wheat farm, also tamed another cat. On day 11, I continued to harvest my sugarcane, worked on some automatic farms, and cut some more trees and killed some more golems. I pretty much traded every single day and killed golems every single day. Um, but day 12, I was able to get a diamond pickaxe and shovel from my villagers. And day 13, I continued mining in my hole. On day 14, I traded some more, killed some more golems, and day 15, I was excited to explore the area a little bit. And doing that, I found some coal and some iron, which was nice because I was only living off iron golems. Day 16, I finished an auto potato and wheat farm. 
I started trading again and day 17, I decided it was time to clean up the village a little bit and start breeding my cows. On day 18, I decided to keep mining and go for deep slate so that I could start making different houses and different builds. And I started planning out a breeding house for my villagers. In day 19, I started breaking houses to form a spot for it. I then decided to start building a house on day 20. Day 24, I got kind of bored of trading, so I decided to go exploring again. I found a ruined portal, a big lava pool, so I was able to get obsidian, and I found another village. So I decided to loot up there and head back. On day 26, I was continuing to trade and trying to get a sword trade, which was pretty crappy once I actually obtained it, but it'll get better in the future. Day 27, I got a new crossbow and some more arrows, which I was pretty excited about because I've never used a crossbow. I've always used the bow and I was kind of bored of the bow. So I was like, why not you know, use a crossbow? I decided to trade for more emeralds and build my portal house. Day 28, I decided to try the nether, and I came out of the portal in a different place than when I came in. So that was pretty confusing. But I had to rearrange my portal so that it would link correctly, which took all the way until day 30. During day 30, I did find a fortress, so I was able to get some blaze rods and head back. Day 31, I moved some villagers back into the breeding hall, bred them, and started moving items out of my house so that I could create a town hall. On day 32, I continued to break some more houses and terraform to get ready for the town hall. And day 33, I was cutting trees, trading, and pretty much doing the same until about day 36 when I actually started building the town hall. Building the town hall took up until about day 40 when I was interrupted rudely by a skeleton horse man thing that actually scared the crap out of me when it spawned. I was able to actually salvage one of the horses and I decided to name it Creek and bring him back where I kept him as a pet. That same day I finished the town hall and on day 41 I lit it up and built the floors inside of it. On day 42 I decided I was going to live in the town hall at least for now and I decided to move my items in and continuing to breed my cows and animals. On day 43 I customized the house a little bit and on day 44 I decided to start brewing and realized I forgot nether wart, so I had to go all the way back through the nether. However, I don't actually have any footage for this. I don't know what happened to day 44. Day 45, I wanted some totems, so I got my items ready. I searched for a pillager outpost, and I was on the hunt to create a totem farm. Once I finally found a pillager outpost, I started my farm on day 46 and it took me around day 50 until I was able to actually use it.
Day 51, I took the long trip home, traded a bit, and started preparing for my end battle. I went to find another fortress in the nether because the one I was at didn't have any nether wart. Once I found another fortress, I was able to get a ton of nether wart and I actually almost died. I was panicking a little. Day 52, I decided to start breeding, uh, made some strength potions. I needed to stop sleeping so I could get phantom, so I could get slow falling. So I decided I needed to make a wall around my village so that monsters can't keep getting in because zombies were kind of a problem. And that's why I was sleeping every single night. With that, on day 53, I torched up the entire village. Uh, I started cutting trees and making some charcoal smelting and planning out where I was gonna put the wall. On day 54, I started terraforming and breaking houses down to pretty much declare what was going to stay in the village or be cut down and leave the village. Day 55, I started constructing the first part of the wall, which was the pillars that I had to put on every single entrance. I was going to have five entrances and extra ex ent entrance entrances and exits. Sure. Also, I found a weird floating villager, so here's that. Once I finished the pillars, I decided on day 62 to start creating the actual walls in between, which was going to require a lot of logs, so I had to get back to cutting trees once again. This took all the way up until the end of day 67 where I finally finished the walls after lots and lots of mining. On day 69 I decided to get back into go mode and prepare myself for the end battle so that I could get the elytra and shulker boxes and move on with bigger builds. I decided to go to the nether to get pearls and this took until about day 73 where I was just searching for pearls over and over I was getting the worst luck but eventually I was able to get 12. On day 74 I prepared my inventory, I said my goodbyes and I decided that it was best to go alone. I was going to take Creek, but I decided the trip was just for me. On day 76, I decided to make the big move, and I jumped right in.
With the dragon slain, I decided to go back home, greet everyone once again, but it wouldn't be long before I would have to return and go end city hunting. On day 78, we went straight back at it and got an elytra. And honestly, once I got that, I came straight back because that was the only thing I wanted. I got straight back to my villagers and decided to make a librarian so that I could get mending right away. And I took me about an hour or two before I got mending for about 18 emeralds, which was kind of meh, but I'll take it. On day 80, I continued to trade, break trees, and pretty much continued that until about day 82, where I decided to start preparing for the Enderman farm. On day 84, I started the Enderman farm, and it took me around till day 87, where I actually was able to use it and enchant all my armor with the best that I could get. I finally had good diamond armor that I was happy with and I decided to come back and start cutting trees and trading again and enchant all my stuff with mending so I could repair everything. Once I got everything situated, I realized how nice it was to actually not have to buy new tools every time they broke and I decided that my storage system was also pretty crappy. So I decided to prepare and to start to build a storage house. And on day 92, I was able to finish my storage house. On day 93, I organized all my items in the right spots. On day 94, I started to start fixing the path around the village so that it looked a lot nicer. And on day 95, I pretty much did the same thing, making everything look real nice. Approaching day 100, I was pretty satisfied with the progress I had made. And honestly, I just wanted to keep building stuff. I wanted to make the whole village look as nice as I could before day 100. So I started on the pond. On day 98, I just continued to pretty up the village and went to the stronghold to explore. I spent the entire day of 99 enchanting in the end and exploring caves and just having fun. Once day 100 came, I pretty much, well, didn't do much at all. I walked around the village, talked to all my villager friends, met up with all the golems, and pretty much just had a chill day. And that was it, watching the sunset on day 100.